Hi, my name is Adam and welcome to WebWalks, a channel where I talk about online privacy, security and web design. Uh, it's quite windy here today, so I hope the mic gets it right. Uh, some of you reply that I should make a script for these videos and throughout the weekend I tried, I tried with the script and I, I, <laughs> I tried on 20 takes to film it and every single take was a fail. Uh, although I have uh, over a decade of experience performing at the theatre club I'm still part of, I can't talk scripted on the tech topics I'm passionate about because it seems so unnatural to me to have a script here because, you know, I love the topics and I want to talk freely about them. Uh, so, okay, today I'd like to talk about click checking. So, click checking is a method of online malicious attack where you make a website or some content and let users to interact with it only to let them unknowingly and invisibly manipulate some other websites by them for you. Uh, it could fit into the same category as phishing because it's quite similar attack and I will demonstrate it on the example with Facebook. So imagine I have a Facebook page and I want to get as much likes as possible and then then sell it, sell the website to get some quick money. You know, I can sell it to someone that will rename the page and try to sell the sell the users some stuff. So, what I can do is to make some fake website, and this could be a game. Okay, for our, for our example, this will be a game, and then I can create an iframe element. Now iframe element is an HTML object that loads another website into the current website. This could be done with iframe, frame or object elements, but I will use iframe because it's the easiest one. So I can make an iframe of Facebook and put it onto my website and use CSS position absolute combined with a Z index feature to make it on top of every other content of the website and then I can set I can say that opacity will be a zero so effectively this iframe loading the Facebook page will be invisible but it will, it will be on top of other content so if user click on anything on the website the click will happen inside the iframe with Facebook before it could reach to the bottom part and here in the bottom area I will create some dummy game Okay, and the trick here is that I will position the elements of the game on the very specific position. Okay, so I can have a button in the middle of page saying whatever, get uh, start game. Okay, and I will place the iframe on top of the page, and I will set its width and height so it just matches the button. Okay, so uh, I have the Facebook page in the iframe and I will make it so the like button of my page is in the center of the, of the page I'm using for the game. So we have a Facebook like button in the center, it's invisible and below it I have a start game button which is the game itself. So users coming to the website will think that they're clicking the start button but they will actually click on the like button inside the iframe that's that's invisibly positioned on top of the button of the game and if i want to be really clever i can capture all the clicks on the website you know uh, the game website with javascript and then i can send the positions that i captured from the clicking to the game so if user clicks on the like, I could send the information of the location of the mouse to the game and the button below the iframe would actually click on itself. So user would know nothing and the user would assume that the game actually started and he pressed the button, but uh, behind the scenes he would actually click on my like button. And so Facebook and a lot of social platforms, social media sites already fix this issue and if you are a developer and or if you work for a company 
that could be vulnerable to this kind of attack, you can quite easily test it. You can make a blank website with iframe and try to load your content or your website into the iframe and see if, if it's visible in the iframes. And if you want to prevent it, you can use HTTP header property called X frame options, X dash frame dash options. And this is a property where you can specify uh, if or whether the site you are using should be displayed inside some iframe. And there are many values you can use. You can uh, forbid, forbid all iframes, meaning this website should not be loaded in any frames. You can allow it or you can allow it for a specific domain or you can allow it for the same origin, meaning that if you are on facebook.com only pages that has facebook.com in them should be able to load Facebook inside the iframe. And how you can benefit from this attack is only up to your imagination. Obviously you can't change passwords with it because you can only you can only persuade someone to click on something. But you could actually do some pretty, pretty serious stuff. And I reported uh, back to CodePen a few months ago where you could actually load CodePen, codepen.com slash settings slash account, I think was the website, inside an iframe. And on this account settings page, you can change uh, account email. And if you somehow make a person to type in your email and make him to click save account inside his iframe uh, you can take over the account and this is possible simply because you are you are benefiting from the user being locked in into his own code pen so if you are logged in to the code pen account and you come to my malicious website and I use the invisible page uh, trick you are seeing the page as yourself being logged in because cookies and you are clicking on the website in the iframe as yourself so uh, i could say that the game needs to verify that you are not a spam and you should fill in a captcha some dummy picture and in the captcha i will display you my email and you would fill in into my fake looking uh, input and then you would click to some random button, which, which would actually be the save button from CodePen. And then what CodePen does is that if you change your email and click save, it sends a verification email to the new address. And if you click on the verification email in the new address, you would effectively take over the account. So this is one of the examples that one could use to abuse click checking. But um, a lot of sites, a lot of the big sites that people use now uh, forbid using the websites inside the frames. But if you, know, if you work for a small company or if you found out the service that you use um, is vulnerable to this kind of attack, you can report to the IT department or you could even get some money in, uh, in, the, in the bug hunting programs, a lot of websites. Uh, allow some money to <coughs> for people to discover bugs for them or you can email the company that you found some security vulnerability uh, on their page and you could negotiate some deal with them yeah so what you can personally do to prevent click checking on websites that you are not capable to manipulate with uh, obviously third-party cookies, disallowing third-party cookies would solve this problem because uh, regardless of whatever iframe is loaded inside on the page invisibly uh, they would not be able to show you your personalized version of the page because you would not be locked in so there is no harm in doing so but you might want to use third-party cookies for your comfort to like like Facebook pages across the web or uh, and stuff so this is really the yeah 
this is really trade-off. Uh, you, you have to consider what you value more. Uh, if you want to be vulnerable to some lame click checking, uh, or if, yeah, if you want to be secure but not be able to do some comfy stuff on the web. But yeah, the, the best thing you can do is to load a bunch of iframes and test sites that you are locked in if they are visible inside the iframe. Because if none of them is visible, then it means that you are secure against click checking on these websites. So you don't have to worry anymore. So that's it for today's episode. And uh, if you want to ask me something or really say anything, you can do it down below in the description. And if you want to contact me or get my encryption key or support what I do here, maybe you can do it uh, on these websites. I created some info text here. Top one is rhanoha.com slash thanks.txt and the bottom one is GitLab repo. And both of these links are also copied inside the description below. So feel free to use it as well. So see you next time.